is a behemoth. Too bad I'm not going there, but you'll see the other behemoths I will be at. It's gonna take me a while to get there. Wide open spaces. Dude, I'm going in the boondocks. Dang it. Foiled by traffic. Looks like they're gonna widen this section down through here. Chopping the mountain out. Check out that valley shot. miles an hour so far I've gone 60 miles figured I'd be cutting through this little mountain area right here it's a two-lane actually freeway looks like they're widening it up here but I'm not sure what's way ahead because if this thing's backed up it's gonna take a while to get even to where it opens up hmm so you got the rear view mirror at least it's, that's a side mirror that's backed up way back behind me. Also on this little stretch freeway right here, there's no off ramps and there's absolutely no way to turn around to go any other directions. So, looks like I'm getting to the top of the hump up here to see possibly what's ahead of me. Yeah, still going, as far as the eye can see. Alright, now I see what's going on. There's a major action on the other side of the freeway, and it's blocked off. I'm getting blocked by some people, so I can't really see 100%, but we're almost going to be up to where the accident is. Hope everybody's okay. That car looks destroyed. Wow. There's no ambulances up here either. place for these people to go to turn around look at these guys man they probably need to get to it but they can't because they're stuck it's gonna be hard to even get an ambulance up to them all right let's see what's over the hump we just hopped off the freeway I'm told this place was open and I'm hoping it's open I didn't even call I just got in my car and came over Oh, here it is. I don't know if you see that right there behind that semi truck. The big dinosaur here in Cabazon, California. Wheel in restaurant. I guess there's a story behind that, but the building is gone. But check it out, man. Finally, I have a ride. It took me 80 miles to get here. There's a lot of people here. Let's go take a look. So many people here. I don't even know there's a parking spot. Alright, we're here at Cabazon at the Dinosaurs, and that's a gift shop right here. And I'll check to see if it's open. I'm pretty sure it is. We'll go inside the dinosaur, man. The wind out here is unbelievable today. I had no idea this is gonna be so windy. And then that's the Wheel Inn restaurant, which is a dirt lot. Let's go over there for a sec. All right, the wind out here is so amazing right now. I hope the audio is going to be good. So here's a shot of the Wheel Inn restaurant home cooking back in the day when it used to be right here. And there's a bunch of rock work, rock walls out, out that way. And these right here, the dinosaurs started building it in 1964, I believe, and completed in 1975. Here's some of the old rock work that used to be around the restaurant. And a guy from Knott's Berry Farm, sculptor and portrait artist, Claude K. Bell, lived in, from 1897 to 1988. He's the one that came up with these dinosaurs. Alright man, let's go inside and take a look and get out of the wind. Alright, let me take a peek at the uh, 
entrance policies before we start. All right, it's Dinny the Dinosaur that we're walking up into. It says right there, Dinny the Dinosaur. This Claude right there. And he was a sculptor at Knott's Berry Farm back in the day. <laughs> Best gift shop ever. A thick rebar. I'm gonna check that out in a minute. Got a little bit of everything dinosaur in here. Oh, you found a reading book? Oh, okay. What the heck is this? A dinosaur in that putty. That guy out. Like a thick rebar holding some of this dinosaur up. It's another built in statue. You are into dinosaurs, Jurassic Park, whatever you're into on the dinosaurs. You gotta come out to uh, Cabazon. There's another one. I don't really collect stickers, buttons, or magnets, but I don't know if I should start or not. Check those out. Those are pretty cool. Man. That's a lot of plush right there. Maybe I should get a t-shirt. That's a shot of the whole inside of the dinosaur gift shop. You can just sell some shark teeth. Like I said, if you're looking for anything dinosaur, come out to Cabazon, California. All right, let's go take a peek outside. Completed in 1975. Let's see what we got here. The picture of Cabazon, 1930. This light fixture. I don't know if that's one of the originals. Check out the old escape route. I think that's above them. There's probably storage up in there. They're pretty much where that window is is where you're at. I think up above they might store stuff and then if something happens I guess you can come out and head out that way. This thing is a behemoth man. This thing is huge. A lot of people out and about. The museum over this way. I have to go check that out and go check out that other dinosaur right there. I'm wearing a face mask but I don't think there's too many people out here that are wearing face masks. I'm not Norris County. I don't know the how that is out here. This is a whole different county, so I don't know. All right, it says it's open. Let's go take a peek. See what it cost to check out this museum exhibit. Not sure what it is. Never been here before. All right, let's go see what's going on. Check this guy out. There it is. 
Kiel Hauser's quote, if there ever was a California roadside attraction, this is it. The dinosaurs. So look on the back side, it's peeking out over there under the trees. Man, look at the size of that frog right there. Check that guy out. Yeah. The size of that big boy. Check that guy peeking out of the rocks. It's $13 for adults, so I'm gonna be uh, going up to the left of me and uh, getting me admission. Check that guy peeking out over the fence. All right, here we go. I'm gonna be paying right now and we'll be heading in Check this out. This is what you want and Have a good time. Okay, thanks. Yeah, okay, Here we are. I have never been back here for this. Check these out. Teeth on that thing right there. Stay on the path. Let's see what this thing's all about. I wonder if you get tan for gold or something. Handed for something. Most likely gold. Uh -oh. Too big to be getting in that egg. Ooh, I hear him behind me. Another one of those stay on the path. These guys actually make noise out this way. This guy had uh, tooth damage. That's probably why you gotta stay on the path. Dude's peeking over the bushes over there. What's up, buddy? You got some cobwebs on you, buddy. You guys hit out in the bushes. They're just nestled everywhere. Piranosaurus, it says. Some of these have uh, placards to say what they are. Stegosaurus. Little baby Stegosaurus. And mama. Yeah, that's a, that one, man. There's no placard on this guy. No little big frogs. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow, look at that piece. It's pretty worth the 13 bucks coming down here. I mean, there's all kinds of uh, dinosaurs, triceratops, all kinds of stuff to be checking out. Check these out. What the heck is this? Let's take a look at whatever this is. 
It's like a huge concrete turtle. It's the backside of the big dinosaur, but that's not the gift shop. That's the one where everybody stands in front of, takes pictures. But yet there is a porthole right there. Oh, maybe. Oh, this is the slide. Yeah, let's get over to that in a sec. Get yourself an outhouse. But yeah, man, this is the one that used to be the slide. Let's check this out. All right, back in the day, pretty much starts right here. And it came on down. There's a slide right here, all patched up. And it's actually open, so I don't even know you can get in this one. Let's take a look. Yeah, pretty much right here. You can see the repair marks down and through here. That used to be open. It used to be a slide. Watch out for the stairs. Watch your step. And check out the beefy, beefy rebar he had just to get up in this one little area right here that you can't really see in. And there's some steep steps. That's why it says, watch your step. Hmm. Oh wow, you get to look out the, uh, the big head up here, the line. Let's go check this out. I wonder what this diorama used to be back in the day. Lava. Looks like a next. It's going to be a real thin, small staircase getting up there. But let's go check it out. Alright, everybody's out. Let's climb up this sucker. Man, this is a trip. You have to get to look out the mouth of this thing. Wow, check this out. This is the park a lot. It's super windy up here because the wind is crazy out there. Check it out. Camera, looking at the camera. That's the way out right there. Uh, I got people waiting to get up here, so let's go on down. Trip out. Next. You want to go together? Here's the slide location. It's all concreted up, but check it out. This is actually the waiting area right here to get up to the very top. You stand on that ladder right there. On the flip side, and up to the mouth you go. Didn't even know you can get in this thing. Seen it from the outside, everybody's just taking pictures. Right there, that's the actual gift shop, and here's a dinosaur. From the outside, you can take pictures in front of it, but when you pay the $13 admission, you come inside, check out this area, you can actually go inside that guy, all the way up to the mouth. I just came from that way. There's a lot of people in that area. Haven't been this way yet. There's nobody over here, so I'm gonna take off my face mask so I can breathe. Big guy right straight in front of you. That's pretty almost that's almost where the entrance is where you pay to get in. I think towards the end there's another gift shop you can go into. We'll check that out. Let's 
guys are making noise. I think this is the coolest dinosaur here. I like the coloring. We got more ditched out in the trees over there. All right, so the pathway's back here, swings around. You actually start out that way. Then you work your way all through this little back area right here. And then that's where you get into the dinosaur. Check this guy out. All right, I just read this. I see you stay on the path all over the place, but I didn't realize it says beware of snakes and other wildlife. Do not enter the landscape. This guy's chilling in the shade. He's smart. That one's just lurking behind the bushes. Hey man, you want to get an egg? I don't think I could fit in that sucker. Alright, this is one of the trash cans, so it says Cabazon Dinosaurs established in 1975. Started out building and doing construction, I believe, in 1964. All right, time to exit. Okay, here's an overview. Pretty busy today. All right, let's check this out. Check out the dino ride. Animatronics. You can sit yourself on some eggs. There's some cool egg chairs. Look at that dinosaur. Look at the dentist. Oh, man, this is the best spot in the whole shop, man. Woo! AC, man. That thing is pumping out. It's awesome. Check him out. Check that guy out. He's hungry like me, man. Hungry. Souvenir. Make it me a smashed penny. And it's just like Disneyland, 51 cents. Try this one out. Let's see what this one does. If I get my penny out. Oh, penny. Oh, penny. guys out man it's like you're going down on the train at Disneyland and yet we're here in Cabazon California what's up buddy so you can go up to the dinosaur gift shop I guess you could hit this one up Yeah. 
under 80 pounds. That leaves me out. Right. Did it? Enjoyed it? Exit right here. Love the mountains over there. There's the other gift shop. Here we got these six foot markers when it gets super busy. Get a social distance. Thank you, Claude. There's a sign down there from his restaurant. All right, come back soon. Hubel Hauser approved. Pointing this sign right here. Hubel Hauser. Missed that guy. It's pretty cool because I had no idea that you could actually climb up that all the way up into here into the mouth and peek out and overlook everything. That's part of the $13 admission. I'm sure kids are cheaper, but for adults it was $13. Bucks. And then you can get yourself some sweet dinosaur desserts. All right, this is the old sign for the wheel in. We're gonna thank Claude for inventing and building and coming up with the Cabazon dinosaurs. And there's the actual gift shop you walk into right there. And then we got another dinosaur back out that way. And you also got a museum walkthrough right out there you like this video hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it is totally free hope you enjoyed it